I don't think this happened to our world, because look, I mean, maybe in Israel or like the other Pakistan. <laughs> What's good, nutsacks? We're back with another video. This time we're doing a little Simpsons video. You know, I did react to this Family Guy video and it did pretty well compared to my other videos. So here I am to make a video on The Simpsons, which is basically Family Guy, but better. And basically the OG Family Guy, because Family Guy kind of copied off the Simpsons, but that's another story. 20 Simpsons predictions that could still happen in 2021. Now I know that six months of 2021 are already gone, so who knows, maybe in this video there's predictions that, ha that have happened, or there's predictions that will happen. I just want to say The Simpsons is one of the best shows ever, and Family Guy is not even close to it. Children's college fund, throw that turkey now! Who needs psychics when we have The Simpsons? The Simpsons episodes have been predicting... It's the best show to watch right before you go to bed. I suggest you do that. Major if you have Disney Plus... moments for over 30 years, like Donald Trump becoming president. So, we're taking a dive into all their accurate predictions, and just what 2021 could have in store for us, according to The Simpsons. Mm. It's pretty safe to assume that during Donald Trump's The Apprentice years, nobody guessed he'd be taking office. Except for The Simpsons. In a season 11 episode called Bart to the Future, Bart travels to the future where Lisa wins the Oval Office after Donald Trump allegedly ruined the economy. We're broke! The prediction of him being president was so specific- Okay, my computer's overheating, but is Lisa- Dude, imagine if Lisa, like, actually becomes the president. That would be amazing. We'll probably never get over it. Check out this side-by-side -side comparison. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. While we were all- Wait, I want to see that. You know, we've inherited quite- Never get over it. Check out- <sighs> Okay, first things first. Oh, bro, they're actually holding a phone and every- What? But that's a fat guy and that's a hot girl, so... Wrong! Where's the... Is that Trump's wife? Where is she in this picture, huh? Huh, The Simpsons? Side side Predict that, stupid... As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. While we were all busy thinking the world was gonna end back in 2012, the Simpsons writers were busy predicting what the 2017 Super Bowl halftime show would look like. Tell us your song! The episode called Lisa Goes Gaga had a special guest. Surprise! It's me, Gaga. During the episode, she puts on an epic performance that has her suspended in the air. Whoa! Levels, cut to the 2017 halftime show, and the real Gaga did exactly that. Not to mention, at one point, their outfits are eerily similar. Whether you're a fan of original... I don't know, maybe she just put on that outfit to troll people, you know? Disney movies or I not, would do that. The production company has probably managed to creep into your everyday life somehow. So was it really that shocking when Disney announced their Fox takeover? Not really. But you know who was probably less surprised? The Simpsons writers. This prediction happened all the way back in 1998, where they showed 21st Century Fox as a division of Walt Disney Co. Damn. The motto of 2020. See, like, predictions like that, I can't really... I don't really know what to say because they're so big. I mean, the la the Lady Gaga thing, maybe she saw the Simpsons episode and then she somehow, by coincidence, she got like, she got told to go for the Super Bowl and then she just wore that outfit, but like, Disney taking over 20 century blah blah blah. Well like but the Simpsons did unintentionally warn its audience that a pandemic like the coronavirus was completely possible. In the 90s episode, Marge in Charge... The dreaded Osaka flu has hit Springfield with over 300 cases... That sounds like a Japanese a name. A dangerous virus arrives in Springfield from Japan. <coughs> and fans couldn't help but notice the similarities between the fictional Osaka flu and COVID-19. Some people mm. have debunked the claims that this was a coronavirus prediction, but they got the global pandemic part of it spot on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
What else did 2020 hit us with this year? Right. No way. Murder hornets. Ironically, The Simpsons called these deadly insects in the same episode some think they predicted the coronavirus. In one specific scene, citizens are calling on their leader for a vaccine for the virus. While protesting, they manage to knock open a truck full of the murder hornets. Coincidence? <gasps> oh no! If you were a Toys R Us Bro, player, that's you weird. Heard, you had to say farewell to a big chunk of your childhood back in 2018. As soon as the closure was announced, Wait, didn't that place shut down? Wait, let me replay this. No! Do. If you were a Toys R Us kid, Not anymore! You had to say farewell to a big chunk of your childhood back in 2018. As soon as the closure was announced, fans rushed to social media with theories that a 2004 Simpsons episode forewarned of the company's bankruptcy. In the episode, childless adults decide their next move is to destroy everything that children enjoy. Because that's logical, of course. Anyway, in one clip, a man flips the R in the store logo backward, while a group of children watch in tears. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit of a stretch when it comes to accuracy. Wait, why Why did he flip it, though? But people are totally convinced that this was a prediction that came true. We never would have had these kids if we thought we had to pay for them! At one point, everyone was concerned about what Daenerys and her dragons would get up to in the newest episode of Game of Thrones. But the Simpsons were like... Know exactly what's gonna go down. Look, the dragon is burning our village. In 2007, they aired an episode that people believed predicted Daenerys burning King's Landing in the show's final season. There's nothing like a good old look. Bro, but that's like, like you know, like the Game of Thrones people, they could have just looked at The Simpsons and then be like, Ooh, what if we just, what if we just like do this to make people, relationship with I don't know, that's think that The Simpsons luck. predicted. Am I right? Our phones just really. Who the fuck really is that bald guy? Us to always say duck. Surprise! The Simpsons had a '90s episode that featured predicted texting. And get this: the episode aired in 1994, more than a decade before the first prototypes of. Dude, they should make that. The thing on the right side. Who was that? And get this. Like, bro, you can just write it and then it like type. Oh, that's cool. You don't have to type. More than a decade they should make the first that. prototypes of autocorrect were ever made. Guitar Hero probably brings back nostalgic Saturday nights jamming to songs like Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Did you guys ever make it to I don't know if it would be more helpful to type it or to write it. Or what would be faster. I think typing is faster, but it would be fun to write it. The 2002 episode of The Simpsons. The season 14 episode had Mick Jagger and Keith Richards giving Homer a jacket that read Guitar Hero. And then, bam! Three mm. years later, Guitar Hero was born. Right, I get it. Who else has had an Apple Watch on their holiday wish list? Well, you're definitely not, not me. alone. Those are useless. One in five people in America actually have a smartwatch. And the Simpsons knew way back in 1995 that they would become a thing. In an episode that flashes into the future, Lisa's husband is seen talking into his watch that looks scarily similar to an Apple Watch. You might not know it's him, just square, but bro. It does Holster not look similar. economics genius. He even won a Nobel Prize for his work back in 2016. Now, the Simpsons might not have a Nobel Prize, but they do have plenty of Emmys, and a handful of- Wait. Predictions that could still happen in 2021. Bro. Mur murder Hornets, that was 2020. Apple Watch is already a thing. What's- There's no pre- Bro, well, they fucking clickbaited me. Including Holstrom's win. Check Dude. Out this clip that proclaims Holstrom's future. Fuck yeah, I'm just gonna finish it. Stand by me. Siegfried and Roy were pretty iconic magicians back in the early 2000s, but tragically struck during one of their Las Vegas shows. They had an incident with their white tiger Montecor that caused their entire show to shut down. I would be well, up a white tiger in prior, two seconds. The had Siegfried and Roy lookalikes in one of their episodes. Their performance in the episode also ended in a tiger attack. Now, let's take a look at what the Simpsons believe 2021 and beyond have in store for us. Okay, there we go. so confusing. The Simpsons aren't sparing anyone's feelings when it comes to what they think the presidential inauguration day has in store for us. But why Why did you f start the video five minutes in, bro? In one of their newer episodes, on January 20, 2021, they show the world overtaken by robots. January 20, 2021. On January 20 that already happened, so... In 2021, they show the world overtaken by robots while everything burns in the background. I don't think this happened to our world, because look, I mean, 
Maybe in Israel or like the other Pakistan. Yeah, some shit happened like that. So this next one is completely possible and is already happening. What are you guys doing here? If someone told us that we'd one day live on Mars 20 years ago, we'd probably laugh. But we've come a long way. In the Simpsons world, they predicted Yeah, they're flying cars now the or flying cars. Believe it or not, they might be spot on. NASA and even Elon Musk are planning a Mars mission in this decade. Yes, that's why Ooh, heard of virtual cool. reality. Elon Musk but is my dad, bro. I let him do anything is it to me. Just us? Does that sound like a I wish I was a woman, and then my goal in life would be like to marry Elon Musk, have his kids, and then like learn from my own kids. You know? Because you got the Elon Musk genes. It wasn't Alien back to Homer genes. and Marge Simpson, however. In an episode where the Simpsons experience the future, we're introduced to a device that lets them eat without actually eating. It might sound strange, but it does seem like something that could one day happen, especially with how fast VR is moving. Eating, okay, so the Simpsons eating without eating, does that mean just like a smoothie or just air? can't take all the credit for this next one. Yes, it's a smoothie, but we are, we've had smoothies, so I don't know what the mail. fuck she's talking Some about. Some form of holographic messaging has popped up in a lot of futuristic movies and TV series. But again, this is totally something that could be coming in the next few years. Yeah. I mean, remember when they literally brought Michael Jackson back as a hologram? Hologram for Bart Simpson. They did? Global warming has become a pretty big topic around the world, which means, of course, The Simpsons would take it on. In The Simpsons movie, Springfield gets its own glass dome in order to stop the town's air pollution well, from getting out. Uh, that's one way to contain something. While something of this nature could definitely be in our future, we're just gonna stick with recycling for now. Can you swing from a whip? We can't. He's a pig. Are analog clocks a thing of the past? Well, the Simpsons sure think so. So much so that they made some adjustments to the Big Ben in London for their futuristic episodes. They think the famous clock will be getting a digital makeover in the years to come. This may be the most realistic prediction yet. I only want to eat candy. A baby translator 100% would have been useful for the 80s film Look Who's Talking. But it's been over 30 years. How does that even make sense? I still don't have one. In one episode of The Simpsons, the Simpsons get their hands on a baby translator for Maggie. Well, here it is again. My baby translator. Honestly, it's a wild idea, but we're not. My baby translator. Honestly, it's a wild idea, but we're not doubting any of the show's predictions at this point. Donald Trump wasn't The Simpsons' only presidential prediction. They also foresee Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump, running for president in 2028. You can see no Homer way. showing his support for her by wearing this pin. Check it out. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> okay, so we aren't ready to base our lives around various Simpsons episodes, but you have to admit, what they've accurately predicted so far is pretty wild. How do you feel Pretty wild, dude. Guys, if you want to look at the actual video, I'll link it down below if I remember. If not, then here it is. 20 Simpsons predictions that could still happen in 2020 by the things. Okay, I'm not going to link it because I just told you guys. To be honest, half the video wasn't even about 2021. So I got clickbait on that part. And then the 2021 predictions were kind of like not realistic at all. Like how am I going to get fed through air? Through like a tube of air. Anyways... If you guys want to see, um, I saw another one in my recommended, it said predictions for 2022. If you guys want to see a reaction on that one, then let me know in the comments, baby. And comment what you want to do, what you want to see me do next, even if it isn't The Simpsons stuff.